everybody! Today's video is going to be a back to school tutorial and it's going to feature the Morphe 350 palette. I love this palette and so I'm just going to do a neutral shadow that you could wear on a day to day basis and that way you will be ready for your back to school look. So to start things off I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me matte and poreless foundation for normal to oily skin and it is in one tin porcelain i've used this many times before and definitely on some of the videos already i'm going to be using my real technique sponge to apply it so i'm just going to put some of the product on the back of my hand and then just as i do every day before i put my makeup on i'm going to use my little clips just kind of pull my hair back i like using clips anyways i'm going to apply this foundation with the sponge and sometimes whenever I am not wearing a shadow I will use my foundation and just go over my eyelids as well but because I am wearing a shadow I'm going to leave them alone and prime them you just want to make sure you get in all the crevices really important underneath your nose and just kind of blend down the jawline all right so that is my foundation next I'm going to be using this Sonia Kashuk concealer and it is in 19 dawn and I'm gonna lay that underneath my eyes just in a triangle this is a stick concealer so the consistency is a lot thicker however I don't think it seems to move as well in the face so I think you really have to lay it where you want it to be so as usual I'm just gonna lay it on any blemishes that I have like this one right here or any spot where I want the light to show up more and that would be underneath my eyes my cheekbones my forehead the top of my nose and my chin. I think this concealer has plenty of coverage. Um, I'm not sure about the longevity of it, but I do like the coverage that it has. So I'm super looking forward to doing my brows because if you did notice, they were a little a little pink around them still because I did get them threaded today. It was actually the first time I got them threaded, so that's very exciting. All right, once you have your concealer on, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm going to be taking these two light shades right here. They are Levitation and Lyric, and I'm going to be placing that on spots where I just want to set it and that's going to be underneath my eyes my chin on the blemishes that I have right here underneath my lip um, around my nose and my forehead basically it's the places where I put concealer honestly where I'm gonna set it and I'm gonna set that using the this elf blush brush and then just give right underneath my eye a good pat again I want this to set down on my face so just like with the sponge I'm going to pat it down instead of rub it onto my face. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette is somewhat new to me and I love it. It is great. It's a wonderful blessing that I have gotten. It just seems like it lays down so well. It blends super easily especially the shades that I use for contour. I have no issue with blending it out especially if I tend to put it on too harsh within the first lay of it I just like it a lot also I just kind of like to lay where my smile lines are because they do tend to crease pretty bad within the day next I'm going to be using the Kat Von D shade and light palette once again and I'm going to start off with this color right here in the middle and that is going to be shadow play I'm gonna use this bare minerals brush right here I'm not quite sure the name of it I use it for bronzer and it seems to blend really well it's really soft I've had it for a long time and that's why I just don't know what the name of it is but it's a great brush I'm just gonna dab it into that product 
And then right where I would lay my contour, I'm just going to kind of sweep that product. And as you can see, it definitely laid a line down, but I'm going to go ahead and lay it on the other side and also all the way around my face. And then I am going to blend it out after I've done that. Also, I apologize if you noticed that I did not put up a video last week. I was very sick last week and honestly, it would have been no fun to film a video and it just wouldn't have been enjoyable for you to watch either because I was just extremely tired and most definitely not feeling well. So I thought it was best to just wait until I felt better. And now I do. Okay, so once I've kind of more or less bronze the outer perimeter of my face and around my nose. I'm going to go back to those harsher lines that I have right here on my cheekbones. And I'm going to be using this same brush as well as the e.l.f. Beauty Beautifully Bare blending brush. And I'm going to go through and just blend out that line. with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to go ahead and use this e.l.f. Shimmer Highlight in pink and just for this look I'm really not feeling blush so I'm just going to go straight for the highlight. To put that on I'm going to be using my Morphe M310 Fan Brush. So anyways I'm going to dab that into that product just kind of tap off the excess because this highlighter does have quite a bit of excess. And then I'm just going to go over my cheekbones and just kind of fan that on there. As you can see, it got a nice glow. And then I'm going to do the same again, just kind of tap that off. And come right on that cheekbone once more. And then I'm going to kind of intensify the highlight that is on my cheekbones, but leave all the other places that I highlighted alone. And I am going to. I'm going to intensify it using the Infallible L'Oreal Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray. So I'm just going to spray that onto my face. Just kind of fan that dry. Just a little bit so it's just tacky and not so much wet on your face. And then I'm going to go back with the highlighter. I'm going to place that on my cheekbones again. So now that I am done with the highlight, I'm going to go ahead and go on to my brows. I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in Medium Brown. And actually, this is a sample that I got from my Birchbox subscription. And I have been holding on to this sample so much. I eventually want to buy another one, but this girl don't have all the money in the world, so I am I'm really trying to hold on to this and I love it. So I'm definitely gonna get another one whenever I get the chance. I am going to use this Sony Kashuk Lash and Brow brush. I'm just gonna kind of brush out my brows to where they need to be. And then using this pencil, I'm gonna go along the bottom line. Just flip my mirror real quick. I'm gonna go along the bottom line. with your brush to blend that pencil a little bit so it doesn't look as spotty or harsh. And then you've got the first one done, so now on to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one. Whoa! Alright, and then once I'm finished using that pencil, I'm going to go over it with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Just going to swoop over just to make sure that those brows stay in place. And then to define my brows, I'm going to take this concealer once more, and I'm going to take this flat brush right here, pat it onto that concealer, and create those lines. So next, I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using the 
dirty looking palette, but the Morphe 350. I love this palette. It is beautiful. I can get it open. I'll show you what those look like. I love this palette. I just think it is full of beautiful, warm colors, but also it's got a couple cool ones. It's got mattes, it's got shimmers, anything that you would want. So anyways, to start off, like I said, we're gonna do a very neutral. I'm going to use this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm just going to lay that over my lid. And with this primer, I honestly think that less is more. You don't need too much, just take a finger and blend that out onto the eyelid. Just make sure you cover the entire thing. And then to set that, I am going to use a Sonia Kashuk Shadow Brush right here. And I'm just gonna go over with the lightest color in the palette, this one right here on this top corner. I'm just going to use that to go all over the lid all the way up to the brow and set. Once you have said that, I am going to go in with this Sonia Kashuk blending brush. This is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes that I have. It is wonderful. And I'm going to go in with this color right here. I'm going to go to the crease and lay that color down. once you kind of have that where you like it. You can go ahead, I'm going to use the same brush and I'm just going to go in with a darker neutral color. So I'm going to go in with this color right here. It actually to me has kind of an orangish undertone to it, but it's also like a tan, a deeper tan as well. So tap off that excess, and honestly, you're just gonna go in up maybe a little bit lower, closer to the crease, almost to the top of the lid. And I'm not gonna go as far into the inside of my eye so that I create more depth to the outside of the eyeshadow. And since I have such an intense highlight, I'm gonna keep my eyes and the lips pretty matte, actually, I think, unless I change my mind. So I'm gonna go through next with a different brush, in fact. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. crease brush. And I am going to be using, if I can find it, I'm going to be using this brown right here. I definitely think that this brown has a gray undertone, almost like a greenish undertone. And I'm going to put that on the brush, tap off the excess, and place that into the very end of the crease. And just so that it doesn't look like you have one just blot of something darker, make sure that you do pull that color out just a little bit to the top and onto the lid. All right, and then as far as the outside of the eyes go, I'm gonna go in with this smaller crease brush, and this is just a Sonia Kashuk brush, and I am going to come in with this dark, definitely like a mocha brown right here. And gonna one last time tap that off and go into the very corner. Alright, I'm going to lay down a color to finish off my eyeshadow on the top of the lid and closest to the inner corner next to the tear ducts. And like I said, I'm not going to use a shimmery color, but I'm going to use this Sony Kashuk little brush. So I'm going to go back with that first color that I used all over the lid. And that's that light one right at the beginning that I used in that corner. And then just kind of pat that on. With this blending brush and that first tan that I used in the crease right here, 
tap off the excess for sure and just kind of go over. This is Kathleen Light's um, collab that she had with ColourPop and it is Mr. Bing. This is a beautiful brown. Um, this is also the first eyeliner that I have had from ColourPop and it just so easily glides on. It's a beautiful color. You can lay it on with anything natural like this or even over a pink, over a purple. I love it. It's effortless and that's why I'm going to use it today. So I'm just going to kind of tug a little bit on my eye and close it. Alright, and just like everything else, I don't want anything about this look to seem harsh in any way. So I'm going to take this is Sonia Kashuk smudge brush. I'm just going to go over that liner that I just placed on. I think it just kind of evens up what you have. It doesn't make it seem so blunt, I guess. All right, so once I've got the liner on there, I'm going to go on with my eyelash color and curl my lashes. So I did like that. And now I am going to go in with another Birchbox sample that I got. And this is from the most recent August month. And it is the Marcel Curling and Lengthening Mascara. I've been using this for, I would say like three or four days now. And I am in love with this mascara. I think that it has so much volume. It gives great length. It curls your lashes for you. And it's buildable too. I do two coats of this. And typically, with building, I'm pretty picky because I don't want it to look clumpy and I don't want it to look like spider eyes either because those are just crazy. But this is a wonderful mascara. I love it and I think I will definitely look into purchasing it. And then just to kind of fill in that bottom, I'm going to go in with to use this little angled brush and this is actually an old one that I have from Claire's back when but it's still a great brush nonetheless and I am going to take this brown that kind of has that grayish greenish undertone to it and definitely wipe off the excess and just kind of drag it right underneath this is Sonia Kashuk smudge brush again. It's that same one that I used to blend towards the very end and also when I blended at the very first crease. I'm gonna go through with the smudge brush and kind of lay that right underneath what I just did just to blend that out a little bit. Make it look just ever so slightly softer, that's for sure. All right, and last up is the lips. So I'm going to be lining my lips today with this Sephora lip liner right here as I stare at it instead of staring at the camera. And it is in pure pinky. And I'm definitely one of those people that does not just like to line my lips. So anytime I line my lips, I fill them in. So I did go ahead and fill in my lips with that liner. And next, I'm going to be using another collab that Kathleen Lights had with ColourPop. Kathleen Lights. You know where it's at. This is amazing. Her eyeliner is amazing. You are amazing. Oh. Anyways, this is my, probably my favorite collab of the most recent collabs that she had. And this is November. And this is an ultra satin lip from ColourPop. And I'm just going to lay that over my whole lip. Make sure you don't have it on your teeth when you're done. 
All right, and once you have put that on, you can add some gloss, but if you're like me, I knew that I would decide against it. I'm not a glossy person. I'm addicted to matte lips right now, so I'm not gonna put a gloss over top of this. But once you have put that lip color on, you are good to go, and you have got a nude back to school look that is definitely going to impress. If you liked what you saw today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have any suggestions for what you want to see in my next video, or like I said, if you do want to see a Birchbox unboxing, just let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you really liked what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.